Today we're going to be doing a, a social media experiment where I'll spend the whole day blind. I'm going to be spending a day with Brother Jibran, subhanAllah, which is, he's visually impaired. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Jibran. I have 5% of my eyesight left in both eyes and at night time I can't see anything but it doesn't stop me from doing what I do. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu I can't wait to um, do this experience. Absolutely. Experiment. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Now brother Jibran, are you 100% blind or? I am 95% blind. So I have 5% sight. So first off your hand should be Whichever hand you use, so if you're right-handed, that hand should be at the bottom, whereas the other hand should be at the top. Now the way you move the cane is in like an arc motion from side to side. So how do I know if I'm walking sideways or walking straight? Like The cane will tell you. The cane, and also you know, oh, yeah. there's tactiles on these stairs, so the tactiles tell you that that's the top okay. and that's the bottom. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a three-legged race, actually. A <laughs> six-legged race. <laughs> Watch this step there. Ready? Yeah, ooh, it's hot and cold. I just put water on my Ready? fingers. Use this, use this, use this. Standing left, and we're going into Universal Burger. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. And I just did my hand. Actually, where's the straw? <laughs> it's going to be very interesting to watch you today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the straw. Well, to be honest, I didn't know it was going to be this hard. I'm starting to feel like I'm. I'm Anxiety. My, my chest is pumping, subhanAllah. I feel like I'm dizzy. It's really getting overwhelming. I'm actually starting to feel it now. It's really overwhelming. You don't know what's on your face, it's on your clothes. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful when you're in public on how to eat as well, yeah? You know, for me, you know, I can just take it off and I'll be able to see again. But for Gibran, this is something for life. My Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make it easy on him, Allahumma Amin. I'm trying to look for work in the community services sector, which is difficult. It's not, it, there's a couple of reasons why. A, some jobs require you to have a driver's license. Some are very far away from home. I like to be close to home. Um, Gibran would love to work. He's been trying for years, but uh, think about it. Who would employ someone who can't see? You constantly support. You need someone next to you all the time. You need this cane. You don't know where you are. It feels like you're lost. Something so simple, answering your phone, I, could, I wasn't able to do. And if Imran wasn't in front of me to tell me your phone was ringing because it was on silent, I wouldn't have known. I might, if the doctor said to me, sorry, Steve, you won't be able to see for the rest of your life. I, I don't think I'll, I can cope. Um, where's the napkins? Are you after a napkin? Yes. Here you go. Where? Yeah, just, yeah, there you go. <laughs> What's that, man? Does he do this to you all the time? It does, but I don't, I don't mind it. Do you get offended when, no, when someone no. jokes around with you like that? No, or? no. You can't, you can't be serious all the time. You've got to be fun. <laughs> you got to have fun. you got to have fun most of the time. Football is very important to me, you know? Mm. It keeps me active. It keeps yeah. me humble. Yeah. The feeling that I might be, never be able to play sport or coach kids Will really hurt me, you know. I want to count to three, yeah. and obviously on the th on the th on three you're gonna catch the ball, okay? One, two, three. Did you catch it? Yeah. Okay, do it again. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Sorry. <laughs> Where? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, right. Oh, wahiyat Allahi mohid, man. To be honest with you, I'm lost for words. I'm speechless. Um, I thought I thought that this experiment was going to be very easy, to be honest with you. I think I underestimated it. I'm thinking that I was going to put the blindfold on um, Gibran, I was going to get to meet you. Yeah, it's going to be easy, we're going to chat about your experience and life and that. But now it's getting like serious, you know. And just the thought that maybe this is reality. Maybe this, maybe. Yeah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing me to see how I'll go throughout the day and this is going to be my reality. One day I'm going to be blind. Oh, that's the, the thought of that is, is, is what's, what's scaring me at the moment. I feel sorry for the people that I can't see. Wallah. Jibran, he's someone up there, man. He's on a different level. 
and I admire people like that because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got something saved for him in the akhirah insha'Allah. May, may he enter them in Jannah without hisab. Allahumma amin. Jibran, this is it. This is the time where insha'Allah I will be able to see you for the very first time. I've enjoyed spending some time with you and just a taste or have a feel of what you go through and this is nowhere near and I'm forever grateful. Jazakumullah khair. All I want to say is praise be to Allah Azza wa Jal. Thank you Allah for allowing me to see. Where are you? Look how excited I am. <laughs> Can I give, give one more hug? Alhamdulillah Rabbi Alameen. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. One, two, two three. three. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Anyone at home watching this, don't take this for granted. Your eyesight's a blessing from Allah and be grateful for what you have because it is a, it's, a, it's a blessing. And this experience, subhanAllah, although it was only a few hours, but it's taught me a lot. Anyone that suffers from a disability like this, I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to give you Jannah, Jannah al Firdaus, Allahumma Amin. This has been an extraordinary experience. I know I go through this on a daily basis, but for this to happen and someone who can see go through it, shows that people with disabilities, they're, they're cared for within the, the community. I was trying to keep it together in that final bit, from not tearing up, but uh, I'm glad I did. But um, yeah, it's been an extraordinary experience and inshallah khair, we all enter Jannah for those. Allahumma amin. Amin, with all those who have passed away and all those who are here. And we say Rasulullah alayhi wa salatu wa salam. Salli alayhi wa salam. And thank you for being you. Amen. And thank you for being patient with me. Amen. No, you were very good. You were a very good student, I must add. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.